So welcome to the penultimate game, the final match. That is uh, the first team of St. John's College uh, taking on BMC Bennett Mozeki College uh, from Marondera. And immediately we get uh, straight on with the action here at St. John's College. A three-point attempt doesn't quite go well, but uh, good rebound by Malachi Burrell. Malachi Burrell, you will most likely uh, get to hear about him in second term as well as a rugby player. But it is uh, going to be Burrell who is going to try and find a partner here. Finds Ziki, Brian Ziki. Last year we did get to see a whole lot of him uh, playing uh, for the first team of St. John's College. So definitely a good player for them. And I'm sure he will make his own contribution. But with a foul against uh, McGeorge Mpala. Oh, he nails that three-pointer, or rather that free throw with ease. Misses the second one, so they lead by one. Oh, lovely passing by Bernard Mzeki. Duncan Alex right in there trying to put his hand in. Misses out. Wenyasha Mazziro on the ball. Sends it out, gets it back. Mazziro goes for the three point attempt. Doesn't quite come for him. Whilst Malachi Burrell thought he had collected it. Looks like we have a foul there. And Mazziro will get his uh, free throw attempt. Misses the first one. And misses the second one as well. Looks like uh, somebody had gone in there, so that wasn't given the light of day. And he gets the second one, so that's uh, three points. Again, looking for that pass and for Baron K didn't quite come together. So we do have a dunk. Duncan Alex Nyasha Dube, Sean Nube, Derek Chuetani, Roshan Lala, Dylan Chipungu, and Tadiwa Smoke, Tadiwa Van Den, all as part of the BMC lineup. Burrell drives, goes in, takes the shot, and knows he can extract the foul. that one as well so so far the free throw game looking good takes them to four points and the second one is done as well takes them to five oh, Baron K looking for that pass and that tussle not Bearing fruit for Nyasha Dube. So the game has not run away from BMC as yet. But they will need to get at least some points on the board for themselves. Baron K. And that pass. That one is out of play. Burrell on a build up play from the back. Mazziro. Ziki. 
goes for the shot, misses it. With the second attempt, it goes straight in. So it looks like that is steps and allows St. John's a college to get out of jail. Now that uh, shot was by McGeorge Mpala. Burrell now to Ziki. Ziki gets the ball back. Burrell. Uh, picked up by Ziki. Uh, just didn't have enough on the shot. The ball has gone out of play. So there will be a short break here for the boys to catch their breath. But there's a good level of support on the court for the Rams. Again, just defensive work. Can they find the shot? Can he find the pass? Duncan. Duncan Alex goes for the shot, misses it. Well collected there by Mazzero. Now trying to find a way out, finds Ziki. Mazzero. Trying to force that one in the midst of the boys. This is another opportunity for a free throw. Try and stretch the lead a little bit here. And misses the first one. is the second one as well and green looks like he's bundled to the ground great defensive work but doesn't keep that one out and another two points there so seven points to four and just slowly chipping away at that very slender and small lead goes for the three-pointer oh ziki gets it right so 10 points to four. <laughs> Burrell looking for somebody that's open. Ziki. Mazzero. Burrell. Oh, Joshua Green. Can't collect it. Again, looking for an opening. Baron K. Lovely looped pass over the top. And that one pressing right on the Sean Mube. Duncan Alex to Nube. False pass, Ziki drives it down the court. Can he lay it up? He does lay it up well. And that's 12 points. So 12 points to four. Ruby. 
bit. Tries to go in there. Leans in with his shoulder and that is a foul. Ziki picks up on the ball. Gives it to Mazziro. Ziki. Green sends it out. Burrell uh, misses it again. Picked up by Duncan Alex. Lovely pass, but a bit too tight. Ziki now driving down the court. He's right in the middle. Another layup. But that was a foul. And that is obviously going to be another set of free throws for St. John's College again. Now Ziki. Doesn't get the first one right. So Barral loses out on the rebound. Duncan Alex. Oh, stolen. Picked up by Mazziro. Looking for the pass. Slows down the game. And coming on uh, from the bench, Sean Chideme. Got to see this youngster representing Zimbabwe. And uh, saw him at the FIBA Afro Basket Camp that was done at Prince Edward a little bit earlier on this year. Young man with lots of potential, great physicality, great height as well. I guess the second free throw right, so that's 13 in favor of St. John's. Well, at the moment, uh, DMC lacking a bit of fluidity, but finding that pass and getting that shot away. So 13 points to six now. Ziki, another opportunity for a three-pointer. Doesn't get it over. Gets it out to Ziki again. Chideme drives in, gets the pass away, but they don't get the shot done. Another shot. Wow, I think this is the fifth time biting the cherry and not sinking the teeth. And that time it was Tepang Uwenya. Sean Chideme. Oh, that was a really rough tumble there, but it gives an opportunity for free throws. Still 13 points to six, so not far behind the eight ball. I uh, guess that one nice and easy as well. So 13-7. That one just didn't have enough. Yes. Yes. A lovely pass out to Burrell. And easy as you like. So many holes within the defense there that could have been manipulated. And George Impala did it nice and easy. Pass was crazy. Brian Ziki passes it back to Chideme. Lovely layup again. So two points. And that takes them to 17. Oh, oh, oh. 
Sean Nube gets it out to Baron K. Goes for the shot. Well picked up, looking for the pass. Duncan Alex is straight into the key for Baron K, who collects again and pulls out a foul. So that calls for the first quarter. And fails both shots. And so that's the end of the quarter. And it's the first quarter break. Coming up next is the second quarter. So just uh, making sure that we got the corrected scores. It is 16-5 in favor of St. John's College against Bernard Mzeki. And we are in the second quarter. Burrell. Wenya. Leme sent it out. Just didn't have enough height. And that one, Duncan Alex, now trying to get to it. And it is in BMC's favor. They want to take this one quickly, drive to the hoop. And they get that one in. So 16-7. St. John's College will continue to move forward. Chideme drives into the key, draws a foul. This is the first one it does to name it. And gets the second one. So 
17-7. A oh, great steal. Now needs to try and make it work. Dylan oh, doesn't get that one. St. John's immediately come back on the attack. Chideme. Ball almost stolen. Chideme decides to drive in, gets the pass out. The three point attempt and just over from Machimbiza. Ball over the top. Picked up. Now driving forward. Nube, but intercepted by Burrell. Burrell sends it out, and that's a lovely layup. Definitely one out of the textbook by Nguenya. And Sean Nube comes out. Dylan goes for the shot. been able to draw out a foul there. A great intercept from St. John's. A great take. And Baron K is able to lay that one up. So a 10 point lead here. Deme gets it out to Nguenya. Machimbiza. Nguenya has to come back. Machimbiza out. Burrell picks it up. Chideme on the three point line drives into the key. And that's a foul. First one. And he lands the second one. Baron looking for the pass. Too powerful for Derek. Oh, lovely. Can he finish it off? Duncan Alex can't get the layup right. Oh, but that shot goes in. Do they count that? And it looks like they are going to count that. So the two points in and with two free throws to come. That'll be good for BMC. Bernard Munzeki College from Marondera. And was just one. Burrell driving forward now. In full control. Gets the pass out. Can they get the shot away? And they do. And that is uh, from Chirambane Gomu. Tirambane Gomo getting that shot right. Duncan Alex looking for options. Finds one in Derek. Barrett. Oh, didn't read each other's play there well enough. But I'm sure Nube would be appreciative of that. So substitution. Machimbids are coming off. And Joshua Green coming back on. Well, actually, it is Jacob Vicky. Yeah, 
Nguenya. And bounces off his foot. Van Den. Nube. Looks for that pass. A little bit too strong. But they do recover. Vicky on the ball. Sends it out to Burrell. Vicky. Tungwenya. Vicky. Chideme. Uh, drives in. Feels like he was fouled, but referee's not having any of that. Good turn to try and get out of that. Alex gets it, Nube tries to fake the shot. And the ref calls the steps on Nube. Who we'll feel a little bit hard done, but comes with the territory. Chidema comes out. Brian Ziki comes in. Burrell comes out. And looks like it is Mpala that comes back in. Uh, doesn't get the pass right. And now we'll look to go ahead. Nube. Oh, stolen by Brian Ziki. Layup. And he gets it right all the time. Oh my gosh, so it's the two points that go down as well as a free throw. It could be double trouble if Aziki gets this one. Another substitution here as Chirambane Gomo comes off. And number 16, Tyler Chimbwanda comes in. Tall young man, is he? And Ziki gets that one in. So 25-11 as we're nearing the end of the second quarter. It is just about three minutes left in this one. Goes straight into Chimbwanda. Does Van Den. Well, it looks like he doesn't come out of the... Unfortunate in that one. He comes out lucky, Duncan Alex to Derek. Stolen by Jim Branda. Uh, gets the pass wrong. Baron K. Oh, what a shot. How did he get that one in? Vicky to Ziki. Vicky Ziki. Nguenya sends it out to Vicky. And that's a lovely two-pointer. Great shot. And picked up. Vicky to Ziki. Oh, Ziki gets it out. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Yo! And that one is uh, from Mungwenya. And as the clock continues to run down, Ziki fakes the shot, goes for it. But somehow, some way, it looks like there was a foul there. 
prior to that pass actually going through. And just waiting for play to resume here. And there we go. We get going, Duncan Alex. Oh, that was a very tricky pass. Ziki is going to go for the shot, and he gets it in. That was a torrid, torrid mistake. Oh, again, another risky pass. Oh, poor pass coming from Mac George Mpala there. Surely could have done that one better. Coming back onto the court is Machimbiza. Oh, Ziki has been fantastic with this intercept so far. Gets the pass back. Tries to go for the shot. Can't. Ziki goes for the three-pointer, misses it. Vicky collects the ball. Again, another missed shot. I needs to try and get that accuracy right. So misses out and does the big number 16, Jimbuanda. Thirty seconds left on the clock. And I'm sure BMC would want to get some points on the board before the break. But that is looking highly unlikely. Duncan Alex gets it out to Van Den, who attempts a shot, doesn't go anywhere. And St. John's can clear their lines. Substitution, looks like uh, BMC coach decides against it. Looking at the clock, 22 seconds. Vicky to Ziki. Back to Vicky. Uh, stolen away from him. Decides to go for the shot. And that is called a foul. And that's the end of the quarter. So Mac George Impala will still take the shot. Misses the first one. And he gets the second one. So they go into the halftime break at the halfway mark. 33 points to 13. And uh, St. John's surely clear favorites as they continue to maintain the momentum.
So as we are in the third quarter now, St. John's leading 37-13 against uh, BMC. Bernard Mzeki College. So, Van Den Smoke, I would presume is called Hootsie, but then again, who am I to give him that? Takes the shot, doesn't get it. That clearance wasn't really well thought out, was it? Neither was that pass to try and find a BMC player. So Malachi Burrell will look for options. And he finds one in Brian Ziki. A long, solid pass. Finds his teammate. And Mazziro is able to extend the lead there. So it is a foul. BMC do get the ball. Van Den goes for the three. A little bit too long. Burrell driving down. He's got Ziki on his outside. Goes for the layup. Misses it completely. Ziki goes for it. Ziki finds Burrell. Burrell with the shot. Misses it. And that passes out. 2v1 at the moment. Can he find the pass or the layup? He decides to go for the layup. And that one is quite interesting, the way he executed that one. It was quite nice, and I'm sure. Woo. Now, what happened there? I thought sidesteps and dummies only happened in rugby, but clearly they happened on the basketball court. And much to the amusement of St. John's College students who are on the supporters bench. A foul on Mpala from John's. Oh, that's a lovely shot from the free throw line. Another good shot, so. Takes them to a 42 now. Van Den gets it out to smoke. Chimbuanda collects that one. Burrell. Shot by Mazziro and he nails it. So that should take it to 45. Smoke on the ball, slowing play down, trying to find some lines, some passes. They go for the three-pointer and just didn't have enough legs on it. And collected by Mpala, Burrell drives down the court into the key with the layup and he nails it again. So some good basketball here so far from St. John's College. So Ziki and Pala come off and a green and a Chirambane Gomo. come on yeah. 
picked up. Another shot. And that's nailed. So that is a three-pointer. Surely that should spur the boys on. Good intercept from BMC. A three-point attempt from Smoke. Has a too much legs on it. Green gets it out to Burrell. Oh, Green in the pocket and pulls out a foul. So Joshua Green will have uh, two free throw attempts. Smoke picks up the ball, sends it out. Uh, Duncan Alex couldn't get his hand to that one. And it was quite simple why that happened. So Duncan Alex waiting in the wings. Smoke. Dylan as well. Dylan Chipungu. Vanden. Smoke. Looking for a way through. Vicky is on him. Might just look for the shot. Smoke fakes it. And no way that one was going to go in. Now trying to muscle his way out of the trouble that he's in. So tough times indeed for the boys. So that's Nyasha Dube. Vicky as well. Just finding himself, taking one, two steps, one steps too many. Duncan Alex to restart. Smoke slowly creeping into the St. John's half. Can they get into the key? Sent out. Well, that was a very speculative shot and I don't think at the angle that he was at, he could have gotten that in. But there we have it, one minute, 10 seconds left on the clock. And it is 46-18 in favor of St. John's College. And they are easing their way to a comfortable victory so far. Oh, there we go. A pass over the top. And Green intercepts on that one. And makes sure that he gives a lifeline to his boys. So pass out to Nyasha Chipungu. Or rather Nyasha Dube. Nyasha Dube. And now it's a smoke. Tadiwa smoke. Uh, gets the pass wrong, Chimbwanda. He's stuck alone there, but Joshua Green does offer the support needed. Drives for it. Ah, misses it. Chimbranda also misses out. 
Rushing back into defense. And whoo, that one goes way over the board. And straight out, Vicky, eager to restart play, goes for the three-pointer and misses out on that one. Was looking to beat the buzzer, but he doesn't beat it. So they go into the third quarter break. One more quarter to go. A comfortable 28-point lead for St. John's College right now. And BMC with tons of work to do either to make this scoreline respectable or rather to actually see St. John's pile on more pressure. Smoke on the ball as we start the fourth quarter. Well, I think it's quite simple now to see uh, St. John's College go about things. And uh, go into song and dance. It's quite simple, really. Ziki on the ball. Chideme. Brian Ziki goes past one. Looks for the pass, but the pass doesn't go to hand. And there it is. Oh, the pass was there, but goodness me, Chideme almost tripped over there. Picked up. Oh, yes, he has been uh, quite the show, Nube. Bundles into Joshua Green. So, Sean Nube will get. Restart to play. Duncan Alex gets it to smoke. Sean Nube intercepted by Ziki. Ziki to Chideme. Oh, what a lovely layup. Uh, interception again. Well, was almost about to dunk that one, but decided to go against it uh, because the foul was already given. So it is going to be Tepang Nguenya's opportunity as well to go for a couple of free throws. Misses the first one. Misses the second one, but good rebound. The pass to Green. Didn't quite make sense. Nguenya looking to apply the press right up the court. Uh, Green gets that one, but the quick pass doesn't find anybody. And that one is way above Sean Nube's head. So a couple of quick decisions which didn't pay a dividend there.
Zeke goes for the three-point shot. Doesn't get it. Oh, misses the turn around and goodness me. Losing his footing there. He'll feel hard done. Driving down the court is smoke. Will he find someone with the shot? Dylan goes for it and he nails it. Oh yes, Dylan. Dylan Chipungu with a lovely three-point shot. Oh, great pass by Ziki. And that one pulls out a foul. Great vision from Ziki. And I guess that's exactly what you want from some of your senior players. Oh, great shot. And Nyasha Dube steps off court, replaced by Derek Chuetani. Immediately, Derek looks for the pass, gets it wrong, and the counter attack. From St. John's. Yields another set of free throws. Misses the first one. Duncan Alex takes it down the court. Finds free reign. Goes for the shot. Can't finish it off. There is the pass. Goes for it. Chibwanda. Oh, that one is easy passage. Oh, he gets it in. So, quite unfortunate that BMC cannot make a fist of this contest because this contest was sealed a long time ago. Four and a half minutes left on the clock, 51-23 in favor of the Rams. And of course, the students go up in song. Chideme was looking to add insult to injury, but misses out on that dunk. Now Dylan Chipungu, smoke to Duncan Alex, to Ngube, ah, almost got that one in. Was a decent effort to try and do the fade away, but. Chideme, lovely pass. Tyler Chimbwanda goes for it and pulls out a foul. And he gets that one. Can he get the second one? So misses the second one, but at least he had gotten the first one in. So 52-23. And just below four minutes left on the clock. There we have it. Again, just taking far too much time on the ball. Okay. 
And again, this time round, Chiramba Negum uh, taken away from him. Oh my word, a wayward pass. That's the last thing you need. Vicky drives into the key, fakes the shot, and gets the second. Smoke sends it out. And for Roshan, can't get anything there. Vicky goes for it, gets the pass in, and Chirambane Gomo rubbed there. Vicky to Chirambane Gomo. And that too comes out fruitless. So Nube Smoke. Looking for the pass, can he find it? He does, but straight into St. John's hands. Vicky. Oh, doesn't go in, Chirambane Gomo. Tyler Chimbwanda now trying to fight his way through and loses out on the battle. Goes for the three-point shot. And there we go. Can he lay it up? And gets that one nice and easy. That takes their points tally to 25. Oh, lovely pass. Just too many chances missed here. Oh, lovely. Great piece of play by St. John's, more structured. Clearly, they don't look rusty, they don't look exhausted, they look fit, they look the part. But obviously, that will be put to the test as the season goes on. They will have uh, some of their big rivals to play. The likes of St. George's, the likes of Peter House, all will be waiting in the wings. And now going down, Johns pressing forward, and he gets the two. So it's not only the two, but a free throw as well. Gets the free throw too, so... Uh, again, another pass gone horribly wrong. 43 seconds left on the clock. Now time to really waltz it in, control the game. Tyler Chimbwanda was looking for that pass as well. So Tyler Chimbwanda has got some free throws here to take care of. Uh, almost nailed that one, but bubbles out of the ring. And he gets the second one. And so... Looks like Duncan Alex comes off the bench to restart play for the last 20 or so seconds of this match. Looks for an outlet, finds smoke, 
Dylan goes for the three point shot and nails it. So if there's anything that they can take out of this match is the couple of three point shots that they've had. I think Sean Lube has been good. Duncan Alex has also worked quite hard. But they just seemingly were no match for the Rams. And so the Rams walk out very comfortably. 58 28 winners over Bernard Muzeki College, BMC from Marondera. They do have a very good history and rich history in basketball, but that history could not come to the fore this afternoon as the Rams waltzed away from this one with a 58-28 victory.